Hello there. Thank you so much for offering to be a scribe at the Ipswich Music of Stedford. I'm just going to run you through uh, exactly what the scribe's job is and what, what it involves. So you'll sit with the adjudicator in the middle of the room and in 2023, from 2023 onwards, um, there has been a little bit of a change from the past where instead of the competitors bringing in physical copies of their sheet music for the adjudicator to look through, they're actually uploading them digitally before the Estedford starts. So the adjudicator will look through that um, on a device at the table. Another change, both of our adjudicators in 2023 have indicated that they'd like to type their reports instead of handwriting them. And likely this will continue into the future with many, many others liking to type as well. So once the section starts, you might like to begin writing on the certificates um, to save yourself a little bit of time later on. So you might write the section and the year just to get, just to get a little bit organized. So for example, you might write um, piano, sonata or sonatina, 12 years and under on the first, second and third certificates to give you a bit of extra time later. And also you can write the year. Um, so after the section is finished and all the performers are finished um, playing or singing, um, the adjudicator will remove their USB from their computer and you will take that up to the back table and give it to whoever the convener is. It'll usually be Crystal, myself, Nicole or Georgia. So what's going to happen is we'll plug it straight into a computer, we'll print the adjudicator reports and you can take those reports back to the middle of the room, back to the table where the adjudicator is sitting. The adjudicator will give you, in some way or another, everyone has their own system, um, the names of the prize winners and the points and the placings. So you will finish writing on the certificate, so you'll add the name and you'll already have written the, um, the section, Piano Sonata, um, for example, and you can add their name and the points to the certificate. So what you need to do then is you need to pair an adjudicator report that was printed at the back with a certificate and if they've received first, second or third, they receive some prize money as well. So um, what you'll do is you'll do the first place first. So first place, you'll do the report, the certificate and the, the um, envelope with the money and you'll paperclip all of that together and put it in a pile. Then you'll do the second place, report, certificate, money, paperclip, put it on top of the pile. Then third place, and then very highly commended and then highly commended so that when the adjudicator goes up to um, present the awards um, in front of the audience, they'll start with highly commended and they'll gradually work their way down to first place. You'll have a, a, a group of um, printed reports where people didn't receive a prize often. So um, when the adjudicator is talking and giving their adjudication to the audience, you can take those to the back table and leave them there and people can collect those from the back table after the adjudicator's finished that section um, if they didn't receive a prize. We'll have a run sheet for you there um, as a scribe, which is quite important as well. So it'll be kind of like a master run sheet spreadsheet. Um, and what you need to do please at some stage is add in the points and the placing. So it'll all be there, the names and the sections. You need to add the points and the placings for us. Um, and that's important for our record keeping to determine aggregates and that kind of thing. So whether you do this straight away um, when the adjudicator gives you um, the placings or after after you've finished writing on the certificates and you've got that all sorted um, you, but just if you could quickly fill that in um, as it's important for us to keep a record of all of that. 